Toggle is a simple yet powerful VS Code extension that lets you set up key bindings that switch between the values of pretty much any VS Code setting. Here I've already installed this setting, so let's take a look at how you configure it and what it can actually do. I'm just going to close this page, and by default, Toggle actually doesn't do very much on its own. You need to actually configure key bindings for it so that you can toggle between things. So to do that, I'm going to open up the command palette with Control shift p or Command shift p on Mac and say keyboard, and I want the preferences open keyboard shortcuts JSON file. So I want to open the keyboard shortcuts as JSON so that I can set up these advanced key bindings. And here I've already set up a few for Toggle, um, but let's take a look at these. So here is a key binding for Toggle that I've set up here. And let's break this down. It is for the F3 key. So when I press F3, this key binding is going to be executed. It is executing the Toggle command, which is what is coming from that extension. Um, there's a win clause that says when this um, command is going to be active. In this case, it's only going to be active when you are focused on text. And then the args here are the important part because that is defining the actual values that you toggle between. So as I said, this is an array of settings, so it's various states here. And then um, the value of these various objects are VS Code setting values. So in this case, we are saying in the first state, we're going to set the references code lens to be enabled. In the second state, we're going to have the references code lens be di uh, disabled for TypeScript. So let's go take a look at that in this errors file, for example. See that the references code lens is disabled at the moment. If I press F3, it'll turn on the references code lens as you'd expect. Press F3 again, it turns it off. So that's a simple toggle behavior. But when you look at this, you can actually see that you can do more advanced things. So you're not limited to just having two states. You could have as many states as you want, and you can control as many settings as you want as well. So in this example, we're using F4, and we're changing both the workbench color and whether or not line numbers are on or off. So you can have all these different states and control many different settings with this as well. So when I press F4 here, it goes to Monokai Dim, or just normal Monokai, then Monokai Dimmed, and it turns off line numbers, and then finally back to the default theme. So that's a quick look at the toggle extension, but you can set up all sorts of key bindings to control pretty much any setting in VS Code. So it's super powerful, and if you find yourself toggling between settings often, you might want to consider installing this extension so that you can automate that.